we are never going to shut down churches because of the disease in town, no matter what Pentecostal chairman says. He says we are never going to close churches because of this coronavirus, no matter what Joshua Okwanyinka, chairman of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, PNF, in one of the western states of Nigeria, has declared that churches would not stop holding services because of the coronavirus pandemic. He said the pandemic was an evil spirit floating around the world and would find it it's impossible to enter the church, saying that the virus will never enter the church. It will be so difficult for the virus to enter the church. Okwanyinka, who spoke to the BBN Yoruba, said only the power of prayers could stop the virus from spreading. They cannot tell us to close worship centers because of coronavirus. Cutting the head off is not the solution to a headache, he said, stressing that God was aware of the pandemic sweeping through the world and only had the solution. The cleric urged Christians to intensify prayers to God to bring an end to the pandemic, adding that God killed Ebola and the congregation should call him again to kill coronavirus. Okwainka said, the evil spirit that travels around the world is what is called coronavirus. Anybody who brings this spirit to the church will not be able to enter the church. The spirit will not enter the church, he declared. The cleric said the church would abide by any instruction given by the government over coronavirus, but urged it not to shut down worship centers because only congregational worship would provide solution to the pandemic. Hmm. So guys, I just believe that these are the people who are really taking a lot of things wrongly. So who, who says that it is only when you are in the church that you can pray? Of course, nobody is disputing the power of prayer. But is it when you come together inside the church or inside a building, that is when prayer can be answered? Whether it is evil spirits or not evil spirits, is it until when you come inside that building that everybody is? So if you pray in your house, your, the prayer will not be answered. For a specific time, they are not saying they are burning church. They are not shutting or closing down the churches forever. And in the same Bible that says, obey the law of the land, the authority, the constituted authority, obey. It's not because of anything. There's nothing like a a, a political uh, undertone. There's nothing like a, trying to victimize anybody. Everybody sees this and everybody knows what is, uh, what is happening. The reality is set before every one of us. Some people will be turning everything into spiritual thing so the question is that if you pray in your house god will not hear you will nobody say nobody should pray if you want to pray if you see it as a spiritual uh thing or evil spirit you pray about it and the same you you'll be talking on the bible says obey the law of the land the government has said this maybe it's advising the government not to say that not to shut down the churches or the uh public places and what have you but the government has already said, let there be shut down of all those religious houses. Well, I don't know the particular city is, whether it's in Lagos or any any other part of the west, uh, the the western other parts of the country in Nigeria. But I assure him, if it's in Lagos, because Lagos is, government has already said, he has given go ahead to the police to arrest any gathering that violates the the order or the directives given any gathering anyone should be arrested by the time they arrest them i hope they are not going to be saying something different i don't even know what is there in simple thing so the sicknesses the malaria and what have you that people have been going through the sickness have been people that have been going through so it is as a result of a evil spirit and people go to hospitals and that's why you see some people they will tell you oh they are going through a lot of things. They will tell you they don't want to go to hospital. This is this and that. I don't know whether this uh, precaution is, is evil in itself. At least if you are doing the spiritual aspect of it, you do the, uh, the physical. Why deceiving people? Well, those who are ready to be deceived, they can, they can fall in for that. For a well-thinking person, they should not even wait until government says so. You ought to know that these are the things you need to do. These are the things you are not supposed to do. But a lot of people just listen to wrong teachings. Some people will not even try to look into what this, uh, this particular man has said. Look at it every uh, you know thoroughly in and out. No, they will just swing into action. You're going to be hearing what people are going to be saying. 
Huh? It's unfortunate. Well, <laughs> thank God that the police or the government has said if you flood the other, you will see anyhow. That is just the way it is. But I don't know in other states, but at least for Lagos, I know that that is what the state governor has said. Giving order to the police, if you flood the order, go against the directives, they will bab you. That is just the way it is. They will bab you. So if it's advising the government not to shut down, it's I think it is too late. It is too late. It is too late. They are they all need to abide by that before they will start turning the whole thing to something else. Start turning everything upside down. I don't just understand. I don't understand some people. Someone says here that uh, um the essence of the church is to save, heal, deliver, and prepare people for hereafter. If we have to shut down our churches because of coronavirus, then the vision is lost. Are these people shutting down the assemblies telling me and the old world that Jesus can no longer heal? Are they saying that Jesus can no longer protect, that Jesus can no longer defend? May God save his church. Where are the John G. Lakes of those days gone and died? Where are the Joseph Ayobabalola who entered forbidden forest? I pity us Christians of today. Materialism has taken away the original from us. Fake prophecies and miracles have collected the original. Let's get back and look for the original. Many of us have died when we are still living. And someone says, it is true. God bless you for this uh, statement. I, I think you guys are listening to all these people. Another says, it is true. Someone says, nice opinion, pastor. Let the fools talk only. Talk only the mercy of God can heal this sickness. If the church close, it means we are defeated. Bring the sick person in the church. He will be healed. The insult is too much. Someone said, is he sure it is an evil spirit? Or is it the judgment of God upon the earth because of evil as in time of Noah? If it is God's judgment, no church will be able to stop it. Man of God, be wise. The man is after money. That's that we come to his pocket, she can now. That is why he's doing all of that. He's saying all of these things. Uh, that's what somebody says there. Someone says, Who are the church? Ignorance. Ignorance is what made Italians that way they are now, the way they are now. Ignorance. Someone says, I reserve my comments. The problem with Nigerians, Nigerians is ignorance. Uh, someone says here that is this man really called by God? This must be some. Buffon, who is still the understanding, who do still not understand the religion except for his income, worried about offering. Now that this man is worried about the offering, that is the fact about it. Church is the solution. Enter for the virus. Peter, Stephen, Thomas, Peter, uh, Paul, etc. Apostles who were personally with Jesus Christ could not be saved by the blood of Jesus. They all died very violently, in very horrible. Terrible way. That's what somebody is saying. Someone said you are ignorant of the Bible. What the apostles passed through was trials of their faith with which Christ himself passed through and prophesied in John 16, 33. Blood of Jesus was shed for redemption of souls, forgiveness of sins, and to overcome powers and works of Satan and his agents. Someone says it was designed by God for them to die like that. Read your Bible. Many are uh, only carrying Bible but they don't even read it. It is prophet, uh, it is prophet what they are running after. Jesus told them they were going to drink same cup with the exception, with the exception of John the beloved, who wrote the book of Revelation. He was thrown into hell but was not affected. That made them banish him to wilderness of Patmos, where he caught the vision revealed in the book of Revelation. So Christians are the are to defend the gospel in the face of tribulation and harassment, not just by humans alone, but also by objects like coronavirus. Another says, I mean, same cop with him. Someone say malaria entered, though. HIV entered, though. Uh, cancer entered, though. Okay, oh. you know, I think this person is referring to the statement means that, that the coronavirus cannot enter the church. And this person say, but all of these sicknesses, they really enter the, the church. So he who has ears, let him hear. If you know that you want to follow all these pastors that 
will not tell you to do the right thing. Prayer is important, but you have to do the needful. You have your own responsibilities to do. Don't go and tempt, tempt God. Don't go and mock God. Some people are even saying that those who are not even serving God if, uh, fervently in truth and in spirit, they are the ones affected. Hmm? Now there's no, now there's Sabi. So guys, uh, let's hear your opinion concerning this because a lot of people are just listening to different things. Leave your comments below and let's learn from you.